All right, so here's a look at the GPS uh, dash cam from outside of a car. Uh, you can see it's a, got a black look here with a great metal grate finish. Uh, it says GPS on the top there. Uh, overall, though, it actually looks pretty good in, uh, from the outside of a car. So let's go ahead and take a look inside here. So yeah, looking at the dash cam here, you can see uh, what I've got. I've actually got this cord here. It's really long. Uh, this is the cord it comes with. And... Um, and what you got is it goes into this adapter section down below. Let me uh, go ahead and show you what that looks like here. Yeah, so this is the plug-in right here. It goes into uh, my adapter in my car. I um, forget the name of it, but it's in the uh, listing there. What it does is it actually will get the uh, signal off of my car, uh, such as the uh, speed, uh, voltage of my batteries, etc. And so that comes up here. to the uh, to the G to the actual uh, unit and uh, you can see it's a nice nice widescreen display there uh, it's currently recording um, and uh, that's because I had bumped the car so it had a detected motion and I have that as a setting okay so here we have the different uh, options we have on this dash cam here uh, we've got uh, let's go through go through the options resolution uh, so I just keep it in 1080p, but you do have a uh, 720p option and a uh, 720p at 60 frames per second option, which is nice. Uh, loop recording, you can turn that um, uh, to three minutes is basically how long the clips are. I've got it set to three minutes, uh, works for me, but you can turn that off if you want. Uh, motion detection, uh, some different balances for the actual picture, date, time, button sounds. Uh, I'm actually going to turn that off. Alright, and we got image rotation, so you could have this in a different uh, orientation. Uh, and version, this is currently the uh, Shadow GT80, or sorry, GT880S uh, version 3.9. That was the most current. Um, this is August uh, of 2016. This was the most current. One other thing I want to show you is how it looks when you're actually in driving mode. This is not what you'll see um, by default uh, when you're actually driving is this display. So let me go ahead and plug this in and show you when you actually have this hooked up to your car directly through that port, what, you're, what kind of stats you're going to see. With the car turned on, you'll get this other dashboard display, which is really cool. You get to see your miles per hour uh, digitally here, coolant temperature, engine load, um, any any uh, any fault codes from your car will show up here. Uh, throttle percentage, battery voltage, and current mileage. Uh, all really cool stats to see. Um, and it also shows you the amount of how long you've been recording for. That timer right there for minutes and 50 seconds is how long I've been recording for in this session particularly. Uh, show you what it looks like with a video clip uh, once you download it from, uh, from this device. It seems like you can't take no more I'm sorry but when my engine starts I just can't get enough I've let you up and tie it down So you'll be here, won't sneak around I'll lace you up and put you on I'm running, running for you every day and night you gotta move, don't want no ride So warm me up, cause I know the world is at my feet, yeah So take me higher, baby, let's go and hit the streets, yeah